Hello everyone and welcome! In today's video, I'm beginning a build that's going to be sort of a test bed for a new work in progress 3D printable front suspension and steering design. If you've been following Make It RC on any of our social media pages or have seen our community tab posts here on YouTube, you've probably already seen this new front suspension assembly. The idea is to make it look as scale as possible while having all the parts being able to be 3D printed on a typical FDM printer. Now I'm not going to be going into too much detail about this new suspension assembly right now, since there will eventually be a standalone video going into a lot more detail about this design and showing how you all can 3D print and assemble the suspension yourself, but at this stage of the prototyping phase I'm wanting to build a car using the suspension design and do some testing. First things first though, I need a car to build. Being a prototype, I'm not really concerned with appearances and just want something kind of cool to slap on top of the chassis. After sifting through my hoard, I decided I'd go with this barn fine looking 1968 Shelby GT500. It's a little rough looking, but I think it will be the perfect body for this build. Hype levels were definitely at a maximum, so I dove right into the build, starting with 3D printing all of the parts that I'll be using. As I said, every part of this new suspension design can be 3D printed on a hobby FDM printer, though you'll definitely need to get your settings dialed in and choose a small size nozzle. They're printable, but not necessarily easy. Now this suspension should work really well for builders wanting to graft or mount it onto a pre-existing chassis included with a model kit, or even a custom made chassis. Sort of like what I did with the 91 Firebird build, but hopefully a lot easier. Spoiler alert, you'll definitely be seeing some examples of that on some future builds, but for this project, I'm going to be keeping it simple and just mounting it onto a FFR SC1 chassis. With this sort of subframe piece, this is essentially a bolt-on suspension for the FFR SC1, however you will need to trim off the very front of the chassis to allow enough room for the steering linkage. A lot of you have probably noticed, but this subframe piece will relocate the steering servo from the driver or passenger footwell to the very front of the car, which has been requested by many builders. The main chassis piece looked good, but I wanted to spray it with some matte black paint. While waiting for that to dry, I assembled the steering arms and knuckles. Again, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on how exactly you assemble these parts because there will later be a standalone tutorial video, as well as probably some other videos going into more detail about this assembly. So if you're interested in building one of these, certainly stay tuned for those videos in the future. I will say that the assembly process can certainly be a little tricky on these since they're so tiny. There's a little plastic ball that you glue onto a small one millimeter rod which needs to be very precisely positioned, otherwise the suspension and steering isn't gonna function optimally. Also, when you're getting into parts this small, you really need to make sure that the dimensional accuracy of your 3D printer is dialed in. This is certainly a case of how well your 3D printed parts turn out and how much effort you're putting into the assembly process, getting things super well aligned and perfectly symmetrical is gonna be the difference between a poorly functioning or mediocre suspension assembly and one that really performs well. I'd say I did a pretty good job with this one. I've only built about five or six of these completed assemblies so far, and in my defense I built this one pretty late at night, so it's maybe just a tad bit sloppy, especially since I'm still getting the hang of putting these together, but overall not too bad. Now at this point I had the knuckles assembled and the upper and lower control arms secured to them. With the paint on the chassis now dry, I mounted each control arm, and I also installed the springs. Already, I'm loving the look of the front end with the frame rails and the upper and lower A-arms. It really reminds me of the real thing. We wanted this assembly to have better scale looks than the previous MC01 front suspension assembly while still being FDM 3D printable, and I think this really nailed it. Although this assembly is designed to be FDM 3D printable, at some point I really want to make one using parts that are SLA 3D printed, as I think the much smoother texture is really going to take the appearance up a notch. After completing that though, I continued by installing all of the steering parts. Eagle-eyed viewers may notice that the steering geometry is not ideal with this setup as it is currently. Don't worry, this aspect of the design has been a big focus, 
Now we are still making some tweaks to the design as well as we'll be offering some different parts to adjust the Ackerman. Although a little tricky for narrower cars like this, for slightly wider cars we might try out a linkage steering system such as this, as well as something similar to the setup that I had on the Firebird. This would add to the scale realism of the car, though it is going to add a bit more complexity and possibly even require some tinier parts than what's already here, so we'll see how well that works out. But hey, here's what the front end looks like so far. With the front half of the chassis looking good, I moved on to assembling the rear. I started by putting the rear piece and over axle pieces together and painted them matte black to match the rest of the chassis. While waiting for the paint to dry, I installed the rear axle. With the rear axle in, I made the drive shaft and installed it along with the motor. Finally, I added the rear pieces of the chassis and installed the springs. Here's a quick look at the completed chassis. Of course the rear end is sitting high at the moment, but once the weight of the electronics and body is added, it should come down to a normal level. I found a set of wheels that should look good with this car. I'll be sure to post the link to these below in the description if you want to get a set of your own. I got these wheels installed and was eager to do a quick mock-up just by sitting the body on the chassis, though to do this I needed to trim off some material from the rear. The chassis looks like a great fit for this body. Of course the body isn't going to sit down this low on the finished car, but already it's looking awesome. In the next video, I'll be getting the body mounted to the chassis and installing all of the remaining electronics. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this car performs with this new front suspension assembly, and I hope you all are as well. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video in this series. But that's going to be all for today's video, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.